I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just those categories. There are two reasons why I like to do this exercise. The first reason is to push myself to play something I might not normally play. If you pre-select categories and force hands in those categories, you won't be playing your favorites. Also, if you ever want to play in a tournament or attend a special event, a lot of times they have prizes for the first hand in every category on the card. If you practice with this skill in forcing hands, you might come home a winner with a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled an 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to be player 3, non-dealer. So for the first force, we're going to get 13 tiles and I will create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a flower, white, green, almost news, one, five, six, pair, twos, three, seven. Like numbers, quince, singles, and pairs. We have a pair of twos. We don't have any like numbers. We do have almost news though with twos. Maybe we could do like numbers with twos or maybe a single and pair hand. Let's pass these three. Three, five. We did pick up two fives, like numbers with fives, or like numbers with twos. Let's give up the one. That's a little risky with the one three in there. Sixes. Now we have like numbers with sixes. We need to pick something. Let's give up. Ooh. This is our only multiple. Let's break these up and go with twos. One of each suit. There's a dragon and a north. News, almost. Let's pass these three. East, like numbers with twos and news, pair hand. Let's break up these dragons. We want twos. We got a west. Let's stick with twos. No twos. I want to try to get twos. I don't think there are any in here. Since we're playing a pair hand, I would risk passing these, the white dragon. We got threes, potential with like numbers with threes. I would discard those and play a pair hand. News with either twos or threes. We need like numbers and jokers for quince. I rolled a three, so we are going to be west.
also we have a north single dot single bams single cracks but we do have one pair of nine cracks that's where I would start nine cracks we have no jokers I have been known to play a joker with no quince let's just hold the north and then we'll hold the nines for other like number potential we have threes and we have eights and sevens so by process of elimination we can pass these three so like numbers let's see what happens we've got a two one five no hits we got a nine and an eight so i would keep the nines and the eight here's a flower like number potential let's pass those and give up the north focus on like numbers with eights or nines there's another nine and dragons let's keep the nines and the dragons we got a nine we did get an eight incidentally let's pass one of each suit no keepers let's put an eight in there we got a dragon and we have towels we can pass for optional cross no keepers I would play like numbers with nines no gaps pairs pungs or the other way around in a kong five discards but we have no gaps like numbers now we need jokers let's see what seat we're in I rolled an eight player four that if I were not forcing a quint I would go for winds and dragons but we're forcing a quint I would keep the east and I would keep all the number tiles five six maybe keep the white dragon past these three we got a six we did get another six let's keep the white dragon for another potential quint there let's pass these three we could maybe even do that quint or that quint or this quint we really don't need the five no keeper one of each suit dragon I might be tempted to switch to like numbers with sixes let's give up the dragon I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of dragons we got a white dragon like numbers with the unmatched dragon this would be the last dragon quint let's pass these three 
no keepers. We got that east. <laughs> wow. Like, like numbers with dragons or east with sixes. Obviously, we have a gap of no flowers. Let's pass these two. We got Joker bait. So <laughs> this would be called a quint with no jokers. Obviously, eventually we need jokers, but this is actually possible. We could play the like number quint with sixes, six crack, white dragon, six bam, or we could play the flowers with winds and a number tile use this as joker bait or end or this as joker bait if we go with the wind quint if we go with like numbers we would use this and this as joker bait either way we have joker bait quint with no jokers Have you ever tried to play a quint with no jokers? Obviously, eventually you need them, but I like to call that my signature move, and I have actually made it because during the pick and discard phase of the game, you have a chance of picking jokers from the wall or even doing exchanges and exposures throughout the game. The next opportunity you have to force a quint with no jokers, give it a try, see what happens. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.